Pollution from the land comes in many forms, but the majority of it comes from wastewater and agricultural runoff. Under the Global Plan of Action for the Protection of the Marine Environment from Land-Based Activities, the regional seas support member states in regulating pollution through legal protocols. The protocol concerning pollution from land-based sources and activities for the wider Caribbean Sea was adopted on October 6, 1999. For the Caribbean, the health of recreational water bodies is critical for the tourism industry and the treatment of domestic sewage will reduce the risk of waterborne diseases. Uh, when the protocol was developed, it recognized that there were two areas that we needed to focus on as a priority. The control of domestic wastewater discharges and the control of runoff uh, from agricultural activities. The main constraints to effective implementation are lack of government coordination, lack of policies, legislation and regulations on pollution prevention, reduction and control, financing of sewerage infrastructure, fragmented implementation, inadequate water quality data. In the Mediterranean, the first protocol to regulate land-based sources of pollution was adopted in 1996 and requires parties to take all appropriate measures to prevent, abate, combat and eliminate to the fullest possible extent pollution of the Mediterranean Sea area. Sources of land-based pollutants in the Mediterranean include energy production, fertilizers and biocides and the refining of petroleum. The pharmaceutical and paper industries, cement production and mining also make significant contributions. The Global Partnership on Nutrient Management brings together governments, scientists, policy makers, the private sector and civil society to communicate information about nutrient pollution. It encourages dialogue on cost-effective policies and investments that are beneficial in addressing the problems. Key facts in nutrient pollution. Human activities produce around 120 million tons of reactive nitrogen each year. 80 million tons pollute the air, water, and soil. An estimated 90% of wastewater in developing countries is discharged untreated into waterways and coastal areas. The regional seas are introducing action plans, guidelines and strategies to address excess nutrients in coastal waters and eutrophication. This is a process by which coastal waters become super saturated with nutrients and causes algal blooms and red tides. Measures to combat marine litter are also being agreed at a national and regional level, such as in Asia under the Northwest Pacific Action Plan and in the Black Sea. In West Africa, the Abidjan Convention has worked to reduce pollution for over 30 years. La Côte Congolaise va rester menacée parce que le développement industriel est tel que ça va tellement vite. C'est même le moment que même de le décrire. Vous voyez, je me souviens de ça parce que je me suis lavé même dans cette eau. Mais aujourd'hui, dans cet état, il n'y a plus de vie. Vous constatez vous-même. Les rejets sont alimentés depuis des années dans cette lagune. Ce très important est que tous les pays aient signé ou ratifié les accords et les protocoles relatifs. Euh, que les dispositions nationales soient prises. Cadre juridique pour faciliter les échanges au sein de la région, mais également faciliter les échanges avec d'autres régions du monde. Donc il est très important que l'ensemble des acteurs apportent leur contribution pour mettre en œuvre les décisions. The regional seas is the only transboundary body dealing with many of these issues. The UN Environment Regional Seas Program. Together, we can make it work.